Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you how much damage golems can do. I'm going to be showing iron golem, blood golem, and bone golem. We're going to see how much damage they can actually do fully maxed out on the paragon board. 692 damage, and I guess this counts to the golem as well, or is it to us? I'm not too sure, but if it's to us, it counts to the golem as well, I believe. Um, there's nothing fancy here. I'm just going to scroll over my gear quickly. And I don't think anyone is going to be running this build for like actual like farming purposes. If they do, they're kind of insane. Let's be honest. I'll go through the Paragon real quick just to show you kind of what I've done. Uh, we have Control here. Uh, we have Dead Razor here. This is the Cult Leader board. We grab this passive just for... Just to stack as much uh, minion damage as possible. <clears throat> and then we move on to the Hulking Monstrosity board. And we grab a lot of uh, Golem damage nodes here, here, and here. And uh, a lot of attack speed to help them speed up attack. Sp help speed their attacks faster. Uh, once again, more uh, damage Golem nodes more here as well um critical strike damage flesh eater we got amplify here and yeah i think that's uh that's the paragon board uh skill tree isn't really anything special oh also i forgot to mention we uh sacrificed um cold skeletal mages for more damage to vulnerable enemies and here we just got more crit um we also increased the sacrifice bonuses and we're only running the golem, so we get a little bit more damage reduction. Um, yeah, we got Shadow Blight. This really doesn't help. I just want to showcase simply the maximum, I guess, damage a, a golem can actually do right now in this current state of uh, Diablo 4. Um, the accessories are kind of important. Like here, we have Heart of Sacrilegious. This is important, uh, we're using Heart of the Great Feast, so we can see the, their actual damage, the golem's damage. And I guess this isn't really important either, but um, I think the your skeletons gain increased damage while alive. I think that works for the golem too. I am not too sure. Um, you may have to have skeletons up for the golem to get it. Once again, I'm not too sure about this uh, aspect, so... From here, I'm going to be showing you each type of golem fighting the same boss so you can see how much damage they're actually able to do and how they perform. At the end of the video, I'll be going over my thoughts about golems. The bone golem has some uh, notable features. Um, I believe it's the fastest attacking golem. The attacks also cleave as well, so anything that's in front of it also gets hit. And I would say this is probably the strongest auto attacker, but not the strongest golem. So the damage numbers are really small, but we can see it uh, critting for 50k to 40k. And then when it's a non-crit, it's around like 20k to 30k. It's not a lot of damage, but um, we're trying to see how much damage, you know, golems actually can't do. Another thing that I wish uh, Blizzard did was make minion damage numbers a little bit bigger. Right now they're really hard to see amongst like everything else happening but um yeah hopefully that's uh addressed in the future in season maybe 64. So here we have the uh, Blood Golem. Right off the bat, we're able to crit for 446k, which actually surprised me. This is because of the Golem skill actually doing triple damage when there's only one enemy. The highest I've seen this skill crit for was around 600-700k. Realistically, it's not a lot, but I mean, it's quite something for a minion. <laughs> um, it also has a really good innate passive multiplier 
which increases damage by 50%. Um, and that's a multiplier within itself. So I would say the Blood Golem is actually the strongest single target damaging golem. Another thing to note about the Blood Golem, it actually doesn't cleave like the Bone Golem, so it only hits one enemy in front of it. It doesn't hit multiple. Now here we have my favorite golem, the Iron Golem. This golem is the best all-rounder. It has a good passive that on every fourth attack it causes an AoE shockwave and its active skill does a big slam and stuns enemies for 3 seconds and it has a very short cooldown of 10 seconds. I've seen the active skill hit for 100k to 200k on a crit and it's pretty good damage um, especially because of how spammable it is. Um, for minions that's pretty good. But once again, compared to like different other builds, like 200k isn't really nothing. But um, yeah, I would say the Iron Golem is the... I would say it's the best all-rounder. It has good single target, good AoE. It handles everything pretty well. But once again, most likely people are going to sacrifice the Iron Golem because of the 30% critical strike damage. So, rip Iron Golem. So here are my thoughts for Golems at its current state on Diablo 4. I'd like to say it's probably one of the worst skills an Necromancer has. The Golem really serves no purpose other than being a crit damage steroid that people usually sacrifice for. And the only other useful Golem that people use is the Bone Golem for its taunt. Blood Golem doesn't really have any like unique purposes or anything like that but it does hit the hardest but it's only in very niche scenarios so to summarize everything iron golem is the best golem if you're actually going to use it uh, bone golem for taunt blood golem is actually useless and uh, blizzard hey man let's buff these minions up imagine a build where you only run golems and these golems just like slam around killing everything right or your skeletons are killing everything. I don't know. I feel like Blizzard um, needs to work on minions and just rework them entirely. As even on the Druid side, um, I don't think I've seen anything like interesting or high damaging. Um, the only thing that really stands out for minions in general is the Ring of Mendelm, and that's only because it scales off player stats. So, anyways. Uh, that's the end of the video guys. Thanks for watching uh, Leave a comment like and subscribe as always and uh, take care